How ballistic weapons affect your ship's power management? A few viewers ask me this question, and I am curious about this as well. So in this video, we're gonna find this out. And I'm gonna be using this F7A Hornet Mark II for this test. The first loadout we're gonna test are four attritions, two size four and four size three. And for the components of the ship, it's all stock. I have not changed anything. So everything is military C, except the quantum drive. All right, so full attrition loadout. Now you can see I have four pips to my guns. The number of rounds in my capacitor with full power to my guns are 38. And then if I lower one bar, it's uh, 28. Lower another bar, 19. Lower another one, that's nine. And that's it. The next one, I will just have to turn off my weapon which is zero. Now, let me see the whole power management, what I can do. So coolers, we're going to leave it be. And life support, we can take this down. That's it. So in SCM mode, that's the best power management I can give. So full power to weapon and full power to engine, but only half power to shield. So during combat, I need to balance this out. Oh, I can hear the gun is... I can hear the sound. I don't see the bullets. What is this? Yeah, I can only hear the sound. I don't see the bullets. Okay, this gun is bugged. Let's switch to a different gun for this test. I'm gonna check the issue console for this problem. If there is someone already created a ticket, I'm gonna post a link down below for this problem. If not, I'm gonna create one. So either way, check the description of this video down below if you want to contribute to this problem for the attrition. All right, we're gonna switch to this loadout. Two size four Omni Sky laser cannon and four size three Omni Sky laser cannons. Same thing, this is a start component. For the power management, I'm gonna bring down the life support generator. For this loadout, if I give full power to weapon, my laser cannon, my capacitor, I only have nine rounds. I'm gonna shoot, yes. This one I can shoot. Nine rounds for each gun, whether it's size four or size three. And in terms of weapon, engine, and shield generator, in SCM mode, I am not able to achieve full power. So I would have to balance them out in combat. If I give only three pips to weapon, I have only seven rounds half power to weapon five rounds Ooh, five rounds that's not a lot a few seconds it's gone uh with four extra pips i can give full power to shield and a little bit more power to engine yep i would have to balance them out in combat all right let's go test that out in combat yeah this ship has the same problem so in scm mode look at this when i give full power to engine now you can see full power to engine with zero bars left to allocate my power. And if I give full power to shield, now full power to shield, with zero bar left to allocate. But if I give full power to weapon, look at this. Now I have five extra bars to allocate manually. This is a problem in combat. You don't want to do that. Okay, I just scanned this caterpillar. Let's see what cargo you have. Oh, I can see the cargo for this caterpillar. Titanium, ultra -C and toxin, tungsten, quantanium, 5 SCU, medical supplies. Nice, the scanning function works very well. Well, no Weevil X, so. Target destroyed. Hey, quick, quick, quick scan. Oh, nice. The scanning is really quick. If you can aim at it for a few seconds, it's scanned. Now, let's see the cargo. Titanium, tungsten, scrap. Caldrum, Ultra C and Toxin, Quads, Medical Supplies, Quantanium. No, no Weevil Eggs. Okay, Starfarer is down. Another thing I noticed, even after my capacitor runs dry, I just keep holding the trigger. You can see my gun is still firing. As soon as it recharges for one bullet, it fires. So I just need to hold down my trigger. But the fire rate is slower than you wait, and then you fire. This is a lot faster. You fire all the capacitors at once but when i run out of my capacitor i just hold down my trigger i just let it fire on its own Target there destroyed. there we go enemy down last one is the hammerhead oh this thing has a gasping weevil eggs in it one seu and widow one seu oh not worth it 
But it's good to know there are still Weevil eggs on board. Oh, getting hit. Oh, he just jumped. Wow, he just jumped two kilometers away. Oh, he jumped again. And he jumped again. Oh, he jumped five kilometers away. Wow. Yeah. This is a very good loadout. Still very powerful. Even though this patch, they reduce 10% of the cannon firepower. All right. Next loadout is a full ballistic loadout. Two size four ballistic Gatling guns and four size three ballistic repeaters. Now let's check the power management. Again, full power to coolers and shut down the life support. That's it. Now you can see these bars on my guns. These three bars are graded out, which means you cannot give power to these bars because they don't need that amount of power. However, for the ballistic weapons, you still need to give at least one pip, one bar here. If I take away that one bar, then my weapon is shut down, I think, right? Yes, I can't pull my trigger. So even for ballistic weapons, you still need to give whatever power requirement for it. It still needs power to at least pull the trigger. But I have extra five pips in my system. I can give two to engine and three to my shield. So with this ballistic loadout, your weapon, shield, and engine are at full power all the time. And I don't need to do power management. Is there any overheating for my gun? Yes, I do have overheating. Now my gun is not firing anymore. Now I can fire again. Oh, I can fire for a long time. However, there is no overheating indicator. I'm going to switch to weapon group here. Okay, I'm going to fire again. Let's see. Nope. There is just no overheating indicator at all. Okay, so the same old bug happened again. I lost the mission marker. I couldn't find it. So let's try this VHRT mission. Bottom drive is now off. Oh, as soon as I jump out of quantum, the marker disappeared again for this mission. Wow, this is very, very annoying. I think uh, it's this direction. I'm going to try to find it. Let me track and untrack. Negative. Couldn't find the marker. Okay. Yes, there we go. Found it. Back to SCM mode. My weapon, engine, and shield are at full power. Getting missile. Ooh. Fire. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Destroyed. This is almost impossible to fight. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it, it's jump again. I'm just wasting my bullets here. Okay, I'm gonna find that target, the main target. The damage effect is too much. You can't see the ship anymore, especially at dark. It's all like uh, splashes and lights. Oh, server error. This patch, this record, patch, record, this patch, this recording, this patch is really rough. This next loadout is a combination loadout with two size four AD4Bs and four size three laser cannons. So same thing, SEM mode, turn off life support generator and give full power to cooler. And now let me check, even with two size 4 ballistic gallon guns here the power management is the same as when we have full laser cannons loadout however the difference is look at here so all my omni sky laser cannons now have 14 rounds in each capacitor when we when i give full power to weapon in our first weapon scheme with six laser cannons each one has only nine rounds with full power to weapon. So that's the difference. The next loadout, six Sledge 3 mass drivers. And these are the size 3 ballistic cannons. However, the power management for this loadout, 
So full power to cooler, turn off life support generator. Now you can see the power management scheme is the same as the first one when we have full laser cannons. But this loadout is full ballistic loadout. Okay, now let's check out this loadout. I am going to give minimum power to weapon. You can see only one bar for weapon. Okay, charge. This is how long I have to charge. And now I'm gonna give two bars to weapon. Let's see. Still the same amount of charge time, I think. Okay, I'm gonna give full power to weapon. So this is a charge time. Ooh, I don't think uh, it actually makes any difference between giving one bar to this weapon or full power to weapon. The charge time is the same. So, target destroyed. Target destroyed. So this little test shows me with this loadout, we don't really need to give full power to weapon, even though we have the option to do so. I'm just gonna give one bar to weapon and then full power to shield and full power to engine. That's it. I think uh, they work the same. Yes, target destroyed. Wow, very nice. I like this loadout. Full Sledge 3. Next loadout is very similar to the first loadout. Two size 4 Omni Sky and four size 3 Corolla cannons. And they're all laser cannons. The difference between the first loadout and this loadout is instead of using the 4 size 3 Omni Sky, I'm now using 4 size 3 Corollar cannons. And look at this. My power management scheme are exactly the same. Full power to cooler, zero power to life support, full power to weapon, full power to engine, and half power to shield. But look at here. The capacitor for my weapon is only five rounds. That's it. So you wonder, how can this be? And here comes the introduction of this video. Let's go to Urkel's Dog Game to check this out. And by the way, Urkel's Dog Game in the 3.24.2 patch has been updated. And it's much better than before because over here, you can actually see your power, actual power management chart by changing different weapons or changing different components. Now, let's go to this chart. This are all the size 3 weapons. Every single weapon, size 3, that is currently in-game. To compare weapons, the DPS, alpha damage, and the range, and fire rate, and ammo count are very important. However, today we're going to be focusing on one thing, which is power consumption. Check this out. If I click this one, so organize them by power consumption, this power consumption indicate how much power one of these weapons is going to require. For the rocket pods and blisk weapons, they are listed. Power consumption requires at a maximum only 0.1. So Tiger Strike, Tarantula, Shredder, Predator, Mantis, Deadbolts. All these ballistic weapons, ballistic cannons, and ballistic repeaters, ballistic galleon guns, require minimum amount of power. And the next ones are the laser scatter guns. Only require 0 0.5, 0 0.94, and then comes to the laser repeaters and laser cannons, require one power consumption. And now, look at the last one, Corolla Cannon. This is our example earlier. The Corolla Cannon, among all the size 3 weapons, require the most power, 2.25. So this is a reason why the 4 size 3 Corolla Cannons loadout compared with the first one with 4 size 3 Omni Sky laser cannons. The Corolla Cannon loadout has only 5 rounds in a capacitor with full power to weapon. And the Omni Sky requires only one power consumption. So that is why in our first loadout with four size three Omni Skies, we can have nine rounds in a capacitor when giving full power to weapon. But also we tested the Sledge 3 mass driver. Even here it says power consumption is two, which is one of the highest power consumption weapon. But in reality, we tested in combat earlier. 
In reality, this number is wrong. Because during our combat test, when we give one bar to this weapon, it functions exactly the same when we give full power to this weapon. Which means you don't really have to give full power to weapon. So the behavior of this Sledge 3 mass driver is exactly same as the behavior of these ballistic weapons. So you can consider the power consumption for this weapon is as low as all the other ballistic weapons. And so this is why I test these weapon loadout in combat first and then explain these numbers to you guys so you don't get confused. So as of right now, in 3.24.2, when you are choosing weapons, be sure to use Urkel and to check not only the DPS, but also the power consumption to determine which loadout is best suited for which ship. And if there is any other loadout you want me to test for this ship, or if there is any other ships you want me to test for the loadout, please leave in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you guys in the next one.